New into stock we have a BMW 6 Series 3 litre 640D M Sport. It's a coupe, it's a 2013 on a 13 plate, has done 34,760 miles. Fuel economy 42.2, that's urban. Extra urban 58.9, which is incredible for this size of car and a 3 litre diesel engine. And uh, combined is 51.4. 0 to 60 time of 5.3 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour out of a 313 brake horsepower engine. Road tax is reasonable too, um, only £85.25 for 6 months and £155 for 12 months. MOT until the 13th of May uh, next year and uh, it was last serviced at 23431 The car is finished in deep pearl black metallic. It has the uh, five double spoke alloy wheels, the little uh, chrome bits around the indicators there, which are a, a nice finish and break the car up and kind of accentuate the wheels. Uh, privacy glass at the back, absolutely fantastic shape. It's probably one of the best looking cars on the market at the moment, I would say, and reminiscent of the old 850. I would think this is the view that most people would get from the back and uh, it's, as, it's as nice looking at the back as it is at the front. Boots plenty big enough. Got a high level rear brake light here and uh, rear parking sensors, twin exhaust tips. Remote key, keyless start. Left the uh, service book back at the garage, which is unfortunate. It is stamped. Uh, serviced at, uh, let me see. I'll put the service history in the description, but it was last serviced at 23,431. Um, I'll just take you for a ride in it. So, before we set off there, height and reach adjustable steering wheel, and it's uh, operated electrically. Power folding door mirrors, and we've got electric memory seats. Let's see, there you go. Two position electric memory seats. I think. Uh, As I mentioned before, this is one of the best looking cars on the road, and in my opinion, it's in the, the best color combination too. It's got the mirrors that dip when you um, when you're reversing. I'll just alter that one too. There we go. Got Pro Nav. Go map, destination input, address book, last destinations. Automatic with paddle shift. It's got uh, Bluetooth hands free and Bluetooth audio streaming as well. Car's absolutely mint inside. It's uh, finished in deep black pearl, I think it is. Deep black pearl metallic. Looks absolutely uh, fantastic when the sun's on it, especially. Very sparkly. And black Dakota leather sport seats. The sport seats have this little bit at the front there that pulls out for kind of thigh support. We'll extend right to right behind your knee which is uh, it's a good driving position for me anyway it's got stop start knock that off straight away it's stupid it's got um, the comfort mode eco pro sport and sport plus 
and Sport Plus switches the traction control off. So do what you will with that. That's the display there on the dash. Dynamic driving, comfort, Eco Pro. Now Eco Pro is pretty good to be honest. Um, with the efficient dynamics. When you're driving an Eco Pro, it tells you on the dash there um, how many miles you've you've gained really. Kind of how, how many miles per gallon you've uh, you're not really entitled to but you've you've saved. So that's it's a good incentive to, to drive sensibly to be fair. And the, the car for the size of it is very very economical as well. Was it 58 miles up to 58 miles per gallon? Now in all honesty, I, I don't know how you'd get 58 miles to gallon, but it was showing 40 plus as an average when the, when the car came in, uh, in the trip computer. And I'd be extremely happy with 40 plus from a car with this performance and this size. This guy's an idiot. I always say when I go out on these test drives that I won't comment on other people's driving because in all honesty I'm not the best driver in the world but guy <laughs> I've just got a good mind to drive about a yard from his bumper and see how he likes it that uh, woman must have been worried to death then with a bit of luck she'll chase him and give him a slap <laughs> So that's, that's showing you there. Eco Pro tips. Tips for optimized driving. Really, really smooth, very quiet. It's got Dunlop tires all round. And this, the steering, even in Eco Pro, is brilliant. I'll just knock it down. Um, right, so we're in Eco Pro at the moment. So, Comfort Sport. You see the <laughs> you see the car jump up in speed there. It makes the accelerator a little bit more responsive. Um, so. You fire away. I could have sworn I'd knock that off. We've got a front central armrest. We've got two cup holders there, nicely covered up. Auto hold for, for braking on a hill. Electric handbrake. There's a bit of space in there. There's a space for an old style phone and also there's a USB and auxiliary in. Well, that's clever on a motorway. There's chippings dropping out of the back. What a it's going to be one of them days today. Dual zone climate control, heated seats. We've got this, I think it's called Trigon plate, or it's uh, kind of a, what does it look like? It looks like aluminium carbon fiber. Ivory stitching. Not a fantastic amount of room in the back, but I, I, you won't buy this for a family and uh, it's only a four-seater at best. 
two plus two. Sounds lovely. Oh, I forgot the heated seats are on, it's boiling today. And I can see the lights flashing on the motorway, so I think I'll uh, do a go round here. I don't want to go down there, I don't think. And I don't want to crash into that guy. Yeah, motorway stopped which I could have guessed really because I'm in a pretty fast car and every time I try and go up the motorway in a fast car it's always blocked. We'll go, we'll go to the next junction on this one, get the cruise control going, see how few revs it's doing at 70 miles an hour. Cruise control's on, ready to set. Seventy miles an hour there. Just wait for it to go into the top. Just over 1,500 revs. Eight speed gearbox. Nice and quiet, very comfortable. You've got here your BMW I control, nav, telephone, media turn that down to Bluetooth my phone connect Just remember the audio book I was listening to is paused so it won't play but uh, I'll show you how to pay your mobile delete a phone stream audio and program the sat nav when we get back by just touching the brake or pressing the button. Other options there for the screen, you can do split screen, have half the uh, thing showing the, half the screen showing the sat nav. Owner's handbook. Oh well, that's a good idea. Even though I wouldn't have been reading it, it's uh, not available when you're driving. I think we'll go around the roundabout again and back up the motorway rather than going through the country lanes.
and listen to that engine going up the slip road. See how flat it corners around here. That's a Navin split screen, but you can uh, choose what you want on either side. Like so, that's showing the efficient dynamics and that's uh, Showing the Navi on the left hand side. It's got xenons and headlamp wash. Like I said, I'm trying to stop commenting on other people's driving, but some people shouldn't be allowed on the road. And would rather kill somebody than go out of his way for two minutes to turn around. Click the um, cruise control back on again, then resume. Uh, we're back up to 68, 70 thereabouts. Guys overtaking there, coming into the, the roads narrowing. This guy's still going to try and cut in. See what it's like going around this roundabout. Try and clip the grids.
every grid. Sadly, I don't think I can get all my photography gear in this, otherwise I think I'd be uh, jumping straight in. Great. If you're a lazy driver like me, this is a great position. Hand like so. It's just very, very nice. When I worked for uh, BMW in the 90s, we had a, a, a bright red BMW 850 in the showroom that was uh, the Bosch used. And uh, I'd only been there a couple of days and we went to a BMW meeting in uh, Yorkshire. And we went in this and they let me drive. I think, uh, I'd already got a great company car when I moved there. My, my previous company car had been a um, Peugeot 205, which was a great car, and then a 305, which was way outdated, very, very, very old man's car. And when I went to BMW, they gave me a, a, a 325 BMW, which was absolutely beautiful. And then I got to drive this after a couple of, or the 850 after a couple of days. Which I think at that time was probably the best car I'd ever been in. Brings back good memories. I enjoyed working at BMW all those years ago. Don't think I'd like it now, but uh, then it was a, a great laugh. fantastic boss Back in comfort. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav. So from any screen, click Navi and then the eye control wheel here click once and then twice comes up with destination input destination input there postcode so we are Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Watney Dale Preston PR and then we have to turn it round till we get to the very bottom there and that says numbers and symbols so PR 5 four and then click that again it's gone back to ABC J S 
and then you've got a choice of PR5 4JS Preston Lancashire or PR5 4JS Walton Liddell. Uh, same thing really. That's it. Accept destination, just turn it down. You can put a, a building number in, but uh, for this we're not. Start guidance, click. That's it. Actually, I think, yes, if, if you click the wheel over there, you see there, second one down, we go to speaker or spoken instructions. Please make a U-turn if possible and then immediately turn right. In 100 yards you will have... So the, the speaker was knocked off, so that's how you, you put the speaker on. That, that's it, that's, uh, that's how to set the sat-nav. Okay, I'll just show you how to um, delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system in this uh, BMW 640. From any screen, uh, we'll, we'll go through menu, menu, and then telephone, telephone. You see there, my phone's showing. Now, it needs to be on the full screen to this, so if you're on split screen, it might, what, what I'm going to do might not show up, so make sure it's on full screen. So then click to the right. And it's showing there split screen switch off control barry's iphone 10 configure device remove device from list well that's what we want to do and also switch bluetooth on at the bottom so if you're not getting a signal at all then that, that's it you want to click to the right on telephone and make sure there's a, a tick in that box so back there to remove device from list and that's it that's it so we'll go we'll go back Okay, from any screen, I'll show you how to um, I'll show you how to pair a mobile. First of all, we make sure Bluetooth is on. So Bluetooth on. Then menu, telephone, add new device. Please use your Bluetooth device to start search for Bluetooth devices. The vehicle will identify itself as. Well, it was showing as hands-free there, and now it's come up as BMW 66242. So we click on that, and we've got to put a passkey in here. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then turn the wheel to OK. Click OK. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Pair. I don't want it to allow my contacts to sync, but you will. There you go, that's it connected. It's also connected as an audio device as well. So in order to play music, what you have to do, go to your tunes, just playing an audio book at the moment. So click play, but if you click on that, you'll see at the bottom red triangle with three red circles, BMW 66242. If that's not tick for any reason, just- The woman came close and well, I'll put it back on there. Thank you Groupon for just sending me a message right when I'm doing this video. So we, we go back there, it's playing. If I turn this up, go into media, turn the wheel to my phone. Slim and manicured. I'll ask you the same question I've been asking all that. Yeah. Take it from me, that's, uh, that's working.